right, working on more stories. And if you've seen the Frederick Barbarossa, right, in, the, in the Holy Roman Empire, the Frederick Barbarossa, is supposedly his great um, uh, king of the, the Roman, Roman Empire, right? So when you have the Barbarossa, it's got to be a good word for Sam, right? Um, and then you have the Barber, or Barbua, which is Mogar. Right? And this is an, uh, another interesting one, right? As you see there, he's got horns, down like Moses. Yeah, straight away. And um, the founder of the Mogar Empire. As you see, the tie in the Genghis Khan stuff with it as well. But yeah, this to me is a possibility, and this one could be, you know, the uh, the Frederick Barbarossa. Because yeah. obviously, the, the Holy Roman Empire thing is the thing that sort of uh, brought about Christianity and the uh, Jesus and all this. And I think it was basically done on behalf of Easterners. You know, as a means of taking over the West, all the money taking over the West, which, as you can see now, provide our like uh, multiculturalism. They're sort of in the process of doing, you know, these uh, Indians, especially, you know, the only modern empire, you see. And of course, the Hindus were based in, so that's where you get your Hindu from. And Afghanistan, which has been super. So you know, prevalent in all the in all the works is on the TV and that, really. and the uh, the Kashmir, which of course is a famous region for Kashmir wool sweaters in the uh, you know what I mean the Jimmy Page song. It's supposed to be a very like romanticised region and all that, and then the Deccan Plateau, uh, the Tennis Deck. As you see there, like yeah, the Mughal Empire, sort of, is a region what's supposed to be from India and Pakistan across to the similar region to where Ukraine is. Right? So again, you see that yeah, you know that Ukrainian idea, like within, you know, connected to the Indian stuff and the Jew stuff. So this is a Baba Baba, to me, it could be Baba Russia. As you know, the couple of things very much used in the all the all the you know, all the hooks about uh, Afghan, you know, the Afghan Taliban thing was very big, you know, on the TV. Yeah, hex, the Afghan Taliban's. They got kind of the mastermind behind the Mughal Rian of Pot. Ferghana. Uh, like, you know, you're talking about translating the stuff over the Western things, eh? you got the Fergie and Dai, you know. You know, the Dai and Fergie who was always uh, in the news together on the Western sort of news. The Fergie and Dai, you know. And we're always putting these in. It's like that type of idea of, um, you know, like in India, the peasants are supposed to worship opulence and wealth. It wasn't really the case in the, you know, like Anglo-Saxon territories, you know, until all this stuff started up, right? But it, that's very much like an Indian peasant idea, you know, when you've got a caste system and you've got these lure peasants, right? And they're sort of supposed to look upon the ones who are wealthy with their money and opulence as if they're gods, see? It's, it's all very superstitious and uh, supernatural, of course, two trances, you know. It all comes from India, you know, this type of uh, royal, it's basically the caste system transplanted across into the Western system. You see what I mean? Of course, you know, the, via the, uh, the star, and via the TV media, see, they the basically was able to uh, create the similar type of system as what you've got in India, you know? where it's peasants and superstition and, uh, you know, like idiots sort of worshipping wealth and opulence. And looking at those who have like wealth and opulence as if they're sort of better, you know, that's straight from India. It was never the case in the, uh, the Western lands, you know. 
and look how sort of bad it's gotten now we've got the, you know, a lot of retards worshipping their money and that, you know. great similarity with that same type of year. Look, you know, it's to me it's a very Jesus like look and all that. Seems it seems you know, when they created the Jesus we'd have the basically made made you they've reversed it. Right? Made you worship like a sort of poor yeah poor character, right? As if they were like totally like God or something, right? In actual fact, it's representative of the, you know, like an Indian royal, you know, the Jesus. You know, so basically, the, the mere ye worship being poor, as if it's like a, as if it's like a, a plus factor or something, you know. You know, it's great to be poor because Jesus was, you know, he used to work with him nothing. And it's like, you know, it's been a pride of the wealthiest riches in people, you know, all along. That's what I think it could be. And of course now they're basically turning the uh, the Western peoples into poor slaves, right? And the bloody Indian ones is all gotten getting rich, you know. So it's you know look at that festival fool while on sat here. You know, the fool people with that uh, Hindu Muslim unity, see? Yeah, you know, of course they're supposed to hate each other. But they've got Hindu Muslim unity in this Mughal Empire. So you know. Is this whole thing been an operation to basically invade Western lands and enslave um, what you would call the Anglo-Saxon peoples, you know? King of Delhi. As you see here, he, did the, he has the lion, right? Yeah. So as we know, the, the, the you know the United the uh, Kingdom thing, the flag has got the, the unicorn and the lion. So that to me again, you know, that to me symbolises in their uh, the companionship with uh, India. You know, of course, you know, like the white horse idea symbolising the uh, the white people. Really. But the lion represents the Indian idea. You know, it's got, it's been a close uh, tie with India all the while. Just people didn't know, you know. Of course, we're all just supposed to accept the fact that this East India Company, right, meant that uh, the British had basically invaded India and took it over, colonised it, right? We're just supposed to accept that because they, they tell us, you know, through the books and TV shows and movies, we, right? of course, you know, know what Ram means anyway. You know, Ram the Jew. So, you know, you just got to accept the word of these Rams. <laughs> He's telling you that, well, you know, we know what they're all about, you know, they've never told any truth, any chance. Yeah. But interesting here, we can see the, uh, the East India companies basically see him as the Mughal Emperor. Right? So you got this, like, you know, the idea of taking people for mugs as well. You know, fooling people and taking people for mugs. And uh, look how the Indian person was presented to you, like, as a foolish person, like, uh, you know, Ian Toff Hotman, and you know, that type of thing, and Ronnie Barker, you see, they were presented to you as a foolish type of character to laugh at, right? And what were they all the time, a very sinister character, you know, hiding behind this, uh, like a comedic uh, face, right? <clears throat> and as you see, you're uh, issuing coins, in his, you know, a lot of coins stop, of course, because coins is the uh, hold of taking over with an e e economy system, you know, coins, right? The company's coins, and of course, Kuhn priests. Right? So now the Kuhn priest, how it applies to the Jewish, right? and they have to be a direct descendant of the biblical order. Again, you know, is the is this year uh, idea tied in with the Indian? Right? Because you <coughs> actually have this so very famous Kuh and Ur diamond read. Again, it's uh, from this uh, Babua thing. It's supposed to be one of obviously the most uh, precious diamonds in the entire planet now. 
world or whatever. You know? And again, tied in with this British idea, British India idea. It's a massive piece of wealth that's the day with the uh, India, revered by gods like Krishna. Curse on it there, you know, superstitious type of ideas and that, you know. And the six myths and we replace this diamond. The Cotron Jews, also known as the Malabar Jews. Cotron Kuhn, you know. Rulers group of Jews in India. And again, King Solomon. It's, you've got a it's Solomonic idea for Jews and uh, Jews in general and Indians, specifically Indians. Parad Paradises, the paradise. Mutton cherry, you know, a bit like Manhattan thing. You have the Neum in the Western type of world, you have the Neum Collins, <coughs> so just remove the sort of the double L, <coughs> the double seven cur, right? Double seven cur, remove that, you basically got the Kuhn again, right? the Kuhn and the coins. <laughs> yeah, basically, you got like, you know, Drew and Collins in there, uh, a lot of sort of Western yeah, things of it. And they call us. You see, I mean, all these sort of words are pretty uh, interrelated, like. Apparently, according to this, means column, meaning swarthy or dark. And if you remember, like the Fritz Springmeyer thing, yeah. Some years ago, he was saying it was in the 13 bloodlines of the Illuminati or something, it was the Collins. Remember that? The Barbarous Collins. Now the uh, Barbarossa. Again, you know, the, uh, there could be an Indian Jewish link here. Again, Barbarous Collins. There'll be a servant of the uh, hidden empire, like, you know. First black woman from to be elected to the Congress. Of course, it'd be a trance. And it dies up like over 19. The yeah, Philip and Ethiopian eunuch. Now, obviously, one of the most popular uh, ideas of the Bible. Really. This one, Philip Bailey and Phil Collins. Now, one black, one white. This is a falsetto eunuch or something, you know, the, the falsetto voice on a eunuch. Eh? And then, and then get the uh, 3 7 cord with that. Nathan East. So that was totally coded in with that. Eh? And of course, they have that Muggles idea and that Harry Potter, you know, like Harry, like uh, Ori, the Orient's idea, eh? which, you know, as we know, I can't buy India. Eh? <clears throat> so the Mughals, the Mughals, the Mughals. Of course, all of the uh, sort of secret magic people and all that. The dull ones are sort of fair, uh, you know, mugs or fools, you know. Being fooled by them, of course, all of, you know, the well known to be Jewish, they say, uh, all the actors in it, people in it, right? Of course, yeah, you know, Ronnie Barker was well known to being an Indian impersonation. Definitely a Mason, definitely a Jew, you know. Was possibly an Indian type of idea, you know. That in this uh, very Masonic stuff, right? you've got here uh, Barku and Orga, you know. You got, you know, you got all these type of things in the Masonic temple ideas, right? directions of Masonic temple. Barku, you know, Barku becoming like another Indian type of name, right? when you're sort of, you know, Ronnie Barker. Barku, you know, it's here. Uh, Totally Indian, like, yeah. 